I'm not going to spend too much time on this, Mr. Gibson, because I think the source is shaky. But I'm going to acknowledge it. No, no other person that I trust has brought it up. <laughs> but a person who claims to have sources, okay, in the sports world, the college sports landscape, it, whatever you want to call it, has reported, tweeted out the last two, well, let's see, Saturday night, maybe end of Friday night and, and today even, about possible discussions of a Big 12, Pac-12 merger that does not include or will not include Stanford and Cal. Just that right there, a possible Big 12, Pac-12 merger, you think what? Uh, I'll say this nicely. Um, I don't think so. Okay. Now let me add this. It includes, doesn't include Stanford and Cal, but it includes Oregon and Washington. I really don't think so. I mean, I, I try to be nice because I know we talked about it briefly. Uh, I, yeah. I mean, with all due respect, you know, typically when someone says with all due respect, they're probably about to disrespect someone, as someone once told me. Um, with all due respect, um, it doesn't make sense. I mean, the college football playoff, which is the start of, the straw that stirs the drink, just announced a 12-team college playoff with college or power five conferences getting automatic bids. So if two of those conferences merge, now you have 11 team playoff? No, 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 no. I mean, no, what did you doing? As the meme says. Yeah, and, and <laughs> I'll add to it. Anything's possible, okay? Let me say that. This seems highly unlikely, all right? <laughs> highly unlikely. But the ESPN, the, the deal that the Big 12 has with ESPN and Fox, but specifically ESPN, pro, pro rata deal, so they will pay new membership equivalent money, okay, mm -hmm. that the, the new Big 12 will earn. If I'm Oregon and Washington specifically, why would I do that? Why would I agree to that? When one, I can stay in the Big 12, I mean, excuse me, the Pac-12, mm -hmm. as it is, make similar money, a team in the Big 12, and have a direct chance, to your point, to win the Pac-12 and qualify for the playoff. Right. So, so why, why would I do that? Doesn't make sense. Flip side of that. <clears throat> If I'm in the, the new Big 12, Houston, you're going to do what? <laughs> you're going to add six, eight teams. We're going to become a what? An 18, 16, 18, 20 team conference. Are they going to get the same amount of money as us? Oh, hell no. Why am I going to read that? Right. <laughs> this doesn't make sense. Make it make sense, Small. Make it make sense. I don't. So, like I said, the people I trust have not commented at all about these, this person's sources. You know, this person this evening says they're going to be a meeting and put a date on it of March 7th with huge ramifications, blah, 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 of the Big 12 presidents. No. <clears throat> so, nope. I just don't see it. Now, prior to this person, People in media, sports media, whose job it is to know sports business, sports media, said that Fox, and this also includes Fox, you know, so why would Fox want to do this? Fox would be like, wait, we got UCLA and USC. Right. So why why do I need anybody else to come? So all, all those things. But the sports media people, Andrew Marshan and John Orr, Andrew Marshan, New York Post sports media person, and John Oran, Sports Business Journal, two highly respected guys in the field, said Fox does not want to deal with the Pac-12. And if they do, it'll be on their terms, which means lower money for the Pac-12. Right. Amazon 
if Amazon works does something with the Pac-12, it will be for a game of the week. A game of the week. Jeff Bezos, Amazon, he doesn't make, he doesn't spend too much more money than he has to. So if the Pac-12 is running out of options, running out of leverage, you want me to give you how much money? Okay, and I say no. Where else are you gonna go? <laughs> hey, so I'm I'm putting it all out there. I'm so if it it doesn't make sense to me. It sounds like it doesn't make sense to you. No. Doesn't mean it won't happen. I think it's unlikely, very unlikely to happen. But hey, Twitter's out there. Twitter, Twitter. You know, who knows what could change in the next few days, but I think it's very unlikely. I think Oregon and Washington hold the keys to survival for the Pac-12. Mm. If they stay, there'll be a Pac-12, you know, currently constru- constructed. I'm not talking about adding San Diego State or SMU. The core members, if Oregon and you dub stay, Arizona, Arizona State will stay. Utah and Colorado will stay. We know good and well, Oregon State and Washington State, they're not going anywhere. What the hell? You know, so so as long as Oregon and Washington Phil Knight would be like regarding these rumors of a merger. We're gonna get how much money? <laughs> And we're going to get how much in the Pac-12 if we stay and this becomes our conference? Oh, yeah, we're good here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I, I digress on all that. But anyway, I, I just had to get toss it out there, man, because I just want to get your thoughts on that. But all right. It's out there in the landscape, the, the Twitterverse. Yeah. yeah. Your, 